As a key member of the ISO working group who revised ISO 14644-1 and-2 for airborne contamination classification in clean rooms, you set down significant changes impacting GMP clean rooms by insisting on far stricter sampling requirements in the 2015 version. Why was this so important? Well, the big challenge is that um, with the old standard, 1999 version of the standard, there were not sufficient sample locations and in a clean room when you're designing a clean room it's really difficult to get uniform uh, contamination levels in the clean room itself so it's important to sample as many places as you can so you don't miss any locations which could be contaminated uh, and so what we did with the 2015 version is we uh, increased the number of sample locations to give a much more statistically sound view of the overall contamination level in the clean room.